He was riding at the side of his friend and a car came around the corner and knocked Daniel off his bike, uh, hit him when they never stood to help him. He was just left there. He did have lots of injuries and he doesn't remember any of it at all. It was just awful, it was, it was, it was horrible. It was the worst thing you could ever imagine happening to a child. It was just amazing how quick that I got told the ambulance came really fast. And it was such a horrible day as well. It was just absolutely pouring down with rain. And I think that the first, the people that were there first, they really, really did make a massive difference to him. I don't think he would have survived if it wasn't for the decisions that they had made. I don't really get to see that many patients who actually come back to us just to say thank you. Particularly instance, because he was so unwell, it's great to see him up and down. It really is. Nice to see him moving forward as well. Obviously, little baby steps. He's making progress, which is good. Obviously, the, the aftermath of what's happened is still affecting him in, in his day to day life. I'm sure in time he's, he's going to keep moving forward and onwards and upwards. That's what I've taken away from it is that we see patients, that our interaction in terms of time is quite short, an hour, two hours, and then we move on to the next patient and we have someone else. Whereas actually, when, when someone sees an ambulance or sees us, particularly in a circumstance like that, it's a, it's a life changing event and the repercussions from that event can be vast and go on for years and years and years. And it's reaffirmed to me how important it is to do, to do the best job I possibly can if that makes sense. Yeah. My other work meant that I've still got my son. <laughs> yeah, I just really wanted to thank them for it. Thank, thank you, you Enwas. Well.